in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this card with the Candy Cane Season stamp set from the holiday catalog and the Candy Cane Punch. And these are available together as a bundle for 10% off. So to start, I have already stamped the front of the card in shaded spruce and real red. And I'm gonna stamp the bow. And to start, let me show you the inside of the card. So when you open up the inside, the candy canes pop up. Isn't that fun? So to create the base of this card, you're gonna start with a piece of five and a half by 10 and a half piece of cardstock, and you're going to score it at four and a quarter, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and three quarters, and six and a quarter. So basically, you're gonna score it in half at five and a quarter, and then you're gonna create two more score lines a half inch away from each other. And this is going to create the piece that you need to place your window sheets in to pop up when you open the card. So I'm gonna show you how I did that. So here's my card base. I've put a piece of Whisper White in so that you can write a message or stamp a sentiment. But I've folded and I'm gonna make sure I really get these lines creased really well with my bone folder. And you're gonna fold back and forth and you're gonna create this M on each side. So it's gonna be an M on each side. So then this side is gonna fold up and then this side will fold down. So then when you're done, you're gonna have a W. So then on the inside of the card with your piece that you're going to write or your sentiment down. This is going to be your middle right here. And you're going to use window sheets and you can cut them a half inch by three and a half. Let me just double check that by three. And you're just going, I'm just going to do three. You can do more than three. And just remember uh, when you get the window sheet, there's a blue film on it. So that way when you're cutting, the surface of the window sheet doesn't get scratched. So you can just remove that. And then you're really gonna wanna use a really strong adhesive. So the only adhesive that I've found to work the best and be the strongest is the Redline adhesive. Um, so I'm just gonna take a strip of this and place it inside on this second scored piece all the way across. And then I'm gonna trim that. And then I'm going to press that down really well. And then I'm gonna remove the red liner. I like to use a little, actually you know what's even better to use is our new take your pick tool. So you can just use that to pick up the liner. This tool is great for getting dimensionals and all kinds of things. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna start by placing one in the middle. So I'm gonna, then I'm gonna do another one on this side and another one on this side. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. And then I'm gonna fold the whole card over and just really make sure I get that pressed in there so it's gonna hold, so it's gonna stay. Okay, so here we go. We're starting to get the inside of our card. So now, once we've taped the inside, we're going to move to the outside and we're gonna tape the two sides on the outside. And this will keep the card together and it will also create the pop-up inside. So that's kind of nice. So we'll do one on this side, and then we'll do one on the other side. It doesn't matter which piece you place it on, it just needs to be on one. 
So again, press that down really well. Get your, take your pick tool in here. Get that liner up. And then I'm just going to open this up, press down, then we'll do the same thing on this side. This is a really fun card. I love cards that have surprises inside. It looks like a normal card and then when you open it, everybody always gasps or says, wow. So it's really fun. I love these kind of cards. Okay, so this is going to be our card. So when it opens up, our little candy canes will pop up right here. Okay, so for the front of the card, I used the swirls and curls embossing folder, and I've layered that on some Whisper White, and I've taken some of our mixed satin real red ribbon that's in the holiday catalog, and I've uh, cheated. I've cut it short, and then I put a little bit of adhesive and wrapped it around the back and stuck it down. And then I am going to just tie a bow and use a glue dot to place it on the card. That's my cheat that I like to do so that I don't have to be fussing with trying to tie a bow while I'm trying to tie a knot. You know what I mean. Okay, so this is gonna go on the front. Okay. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on this. I have a huge piece of dimensionals from a paper pumpkin. And then um, we're going to stamp and cut out the little bow that goes on the candy cane and then tie a little bow from the ribbon. All right, got that there. And then I like to tie bows on the roll so that way I can see exactly how much ribbon I need and I'm not wasting any ribbon. I can just trim it right off from the bow. So you can get your bow exactly how you want it. A little bit more, tighten that up. And then we can trim this up. And then I'm just going to put a little glue dot for glue dots, I just uh, tear off and remove to expose one glue dot at a time. And then I place the ribbon on the glue dot to pick up the glue dot, just makes it easier. And then I just place it on the card. So this is the front of our card, minus the ribbon, we'll get to that. So now we're going to stamp the candy canes and the ribbon and punch those out with the punch. So I've already started um, stamping the candy canes and the ribbon. So I've stamped the outline of the ribbon in shaded spruce. And then for the inside, I'm going to use Call Me Clover, just a little shade lighter of green, okay? And you just wanna make sure you take your time to line it up because it does line up nicely when you take your time to do it. So that's the ribbon. And now for the candy cane, this is a little bit tricky to line up. Sometimes I don't get it quite lined up. So definitely take your time to line it up and pardon my head if my head gets in the way, but I just wanna make sure I'm gonna line this up. So just take your time and make sure you're lining it up. Pretty good, almost there, but we'll call that good. All right, so now to punch things out, Oh, it's hard to close these with long nails. All right, so to punch these out, I'm actually gonna um, cut this little piece of ribbon off and I'm gonna use a post-it note, another little trick, to place it inside. And there we go, there's the bow. And then this is gonna come in handy again, so we'll just reserve that. So now I can start punching out my little candy canes. So just make sure I line that up nice. You can tilt that. And then I'm gonna trim this off. And we'll punch again. Okay, trim 
this off. And then we'll use the little post-it note again. Just put it here in the corner. This will help us place the candy cane. What have we got stuck? Okay, there we go. So there are all of our candy canes and our bow. So for the bow, I'm gonna use a little mini dimensional. I love these little mini dimensionals. Don't you love them? They're so cute. They're so perfect for little things like this. Oop. I wanna put it on this card. Okay, so we've got that on there. Now we wanna open it up. We're gonna place our candy canes on here. So we just need to put a little bit of adhesive here on the middle, depending on how you're going to put it on the window sheet. And I've placed it so that this top part, because it's actually pretty sharp, um, is covered. So nobody's gonna be touching that part. So just a little bit of adhesive. Mm. You don't want to put it all over the candy cane because not all of your candy cane is going to be on the window sheet and you don't want a bunch of adhesive exposed in the back. It might close, shut your card forever. Just kidding. All right, so we've got our adhesive there. Hopefully I didn't get too much exposed on the back and we've got our surprise pop-up card. So it's a pretty card on the outside, but then when you open it up, there's a fun surprise inside. And this would be great for a birthday card. You could do balloons or a Valentine's Day card. You could do hearts or anything your imagination can think of. So I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on this surprise pop-up card and that you have the chance to make one of your own. If you would like a tutorial and the supplies for this card, please uh, contact me through my blog. And the tutorial is $10 and the supplies and the shipping are $15. So it's a great deal for this really fun card, $15. And if you would like to purchase any of the products used in this video at my blog, my website, I will send you the tutorial for this card for free. So go to my website and check it out. I will be posting um, this video and this um, card on my blog. So I will have all the information on my blog as well. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.